There is big breaking news tonight. An explosive wildfire near Prescott within the past few minutes. We now know at least two homes have burned to the ground. There may be more. Mandatory evacuations remain in effect at this hour. The viewpoint fire in Chino Valley ballooned in size, growing to 2,000 acres in a matter of hours. It's all because of our dry conditions and strong winds today. Our ABC 15 viewers sending us video of all that smoke just billowing into the air. You could see it for miles. So let's bring in a map now showing you where all of this is happening. This is north of Prescott Valley in Yavapai County. We're told the evacuation order remains in effect for the Antelope Meadows area. More viewer video now. Plumes of smoke creeping up right behind this home. The cause of this fire remains a mystery right now. And there is a shelter open for those of you affected by this fire. It's at the Yavapai College in Prescott. The Red Cross en route to help in any way they can. There's even more information being put up right now over on our website right there on the front page of abc15.com. Our team's just getting into the area right now. ABC 15's Aldo Vasquez joining us live and begins our team coverage for us. Aldo, we can hear those winds whipping. Oh yeah, and that's one of the reasons why this fire grew so fast. Now we just got on the ground here and take a look at the damage that this fire has caused. You can just see black and, and just so much uh, damage from this fire that, that charred a lot of this area out here. And uh, fortunately, a lot of this place is just brush, but you can see just how close it got to a lot of the homes over there and firefighters have been moving very quickly. And this is one of the reasons why, as I just mentioned, all this is just dry brush and that's fueling these flames even more along with the strong wind that we're seeing. But what you've seen so far is the damage that this fire has caused. But what you haven't seen is the human aspect of this. And walk with me over here. You can take a look right over there. Just a ton of people parked at the end of the road there. That is where they can go. That's as far as they can go because they live in one of the evacuation areas that uh, where th this fire is threatening a lot of their homes right now. And all they can do is sit and stand and wait and watch and wonder if their homes will be there later on this evening. Now, as you guys just mentioned earlier, this fire ballooned in size, uh, nearly tripling in size to about 2,000 acres in about two hours. And you can see right over there to the distance, you know, a lot of, uh, more of the firefighting efforts continue a lot over there. Now, as we mentioned that there are some evacuation zones along Quito Valley Road, just north of Acreway, where we are right now. And this fire is moving really, really fast. Over 400 structures and homes are in jeopardy. Multiple homes have been destroyed. And right now they're ordering more aircraft to help its, and stop its progression as this fire continues to move forward. I did speak to somebody earlier this morning who was telling me that around 11 o'clock, she noticed the flames off in the distance. And within five to 10 minutes, those flames and that smoke was right at the fence of her door. We're talking to a lot of the folks over here who are just waiting and seeing what's going on with their homes and what's going to happen uh, as, con as firefighters continue to, to stop this progression of this fire. We've seen multiple aircrafts come on by, drop retardant on the flames right now, which is what they're trying to do is keep the flames from moving any further. Now we will have more information for you coming up at six o'clock and we'll speak to more of these residents about their worries uh, about what's been going on in their community. For now, reporting live in Chino Valley, Aldo Vasquez, ABC 15, Arizona. Aldo, thank you. Just like the flames, the information coming in fast and furious. We just got an update on the acreage 2500 acres now all fueled by those incredibly dry conditions and those strong winds. Yeah, let's find out how long they're hanging on. John